my name is Beth Njoki, the project coordinator for Team Husky. Six years ago, my parents took me to church. A raffle ticket party was being held in church, and my parents bought me a raffle ticket at 20 Kenyan shillings. After playing for some time, I won a big television set. It was black and beautiful, and it was one of my most prized possessions. Last year, the television set started experiencing some hitches. It will not work, it will not start. My parents decided to ask a neighbor where she got her electrical devices repaired. The neighbor recommended a number of a certain man who lived just around the corner. The next day, the man came, picked the television set, and he told us that he would have repaired it by the end of two days. By the end of the third day, I was still waiting for the television set. My parents and I decided to go look for him at his house. It was locked. We decided to call him. He was not reachable. We went to his stall, where he usually spends his day. Nothing was there. The man apparently had disappeared with the main television set and it was like he had moved to another city where we could not trust him. You see, these are some of the problems that are faced in the current society. One, a, a device gets spoiled in the house and one looks for a number of a man who is not credible or is not satisfied, certified to do the job. This man ends up stealing most, the most important parts of the device or the main component like in my case. The other problem is that the carry, during the carrying of the device to the repair shop, one gets so fatigued, it's so tedious. In another case, um, the, 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 the people in charge of the repair might overcharge the users. You see, a repair might take a hundred sh Kenyan shillings to, to be done, but the person might charge you even to 500 Kenyan shillings. These are some of the problems that pushed us to the creation and the production of M Electricity, which is an app that connects the agencies providing these services to the users in need of these services. Okay. I am Betty Muhonja, the app coordinator, Team Husky. Our team has created a prototype that is going to be used for the app. The first screen leads to the home page which has three buttons, the user, the electrician, and the agency buttons for the different users of the app. The users of the app who are the agency, the electrician, and the user who are supposed to log in or sign up into the app. On pressing the user button, the user is taken to the agency screen, which contains a list of agencies available in the app. From this list, the user can pick the agency of choice, after which one will view the information about the agency. After this, we head to the problem definition screen where the user is required to define the problem he or she is facing. One can also take a photo though it's optional and one is also required to fill in the location. After pressing the send button, this information goes to the agency, which will then respond by sending the details of the nearest electrician available around the locality of the user who is to attend to the user. Details such as name and identity of the electrician are sent to the user. The agency is the second user in our app. The agency logs in or signs up into the app so that it can track the process of the electrician. We also have the electrician screen where the electrician can log in or sign up so that by using the ID number or the password allocated by the agency. After this, the, the electrician then describes the actual problem on the ground after reaching the user's place. After the agency has finished the work done or rendered all the services to the user, he or she is required to fill a job card which he will then submit to the agency. The job card details... I am Betty Muhonja, the app coordinator, Team Husky. Our team has created a prototype that is going to be used for the app. The first screen leads to the home page which has three buttons, the user, the electrician, and the agency buttons for the different users of the app. The users of the app who are the agency, the electrician, and the user who are supposed to log in or sign up into the app. On pressing the user button, the user is taken to the agency screen, which contains a list of agencies available in the app. 
From this list, the user can pick the agency of choice, after which one will view the information about the agency. After this, we head to the problem definition screen, where the user is required to define the problem he or she is facing. One can also take a photo, though it's optional, and one is also required to fill in the location. After pressing the send button, this information goes to the agency, which will then respond by sending the details of the nearest electrician available around the locality of the user who is to attend to the user. Details such as name and identity of the electrician are sent to the user. The agency is the second user in our app. The agency logs in or signs up into the app so that it can track the process of the electrician. We also have the electrician screen where the electrician can log in or sign up so that by using the ID number or the password allocated by the agency. After this, the, the electrician then describes the actual problem on the ground after reaching the user's place. After the agency has finished the work done or rendered all the services to the user, he or she is required to fill a job card which he will then submit to the agency. The job card details... Hi, I'm Cherry Monica, the marketing director. In the first year, we'll be based on marketing the app and we're approximating to 900 users and 1,700 more users in the second year. To ensure that we reach our target number of users, we will assure quality services with credibility as M Electricity involves agencies, so accountability is involved. M Electricity is an app whose mission is to connect the users with the direct need of electrical services to the agencies who provide the services. To make our app be known and it for it to be used by many users, t-shirts, wristbands, notebooks and pens will be printed with our logo and mission written on them will be produced and distributed to people so as it to be known by many more people. Conducting our survey on 1,100 people, we figured out that 86% of these people will really want to use our app. This gives us a revenue of about 900 US dollars. For the second year, we expect an increment of 1,700 people, which will give us a revenue of approximately 1,700 US dollars. This means that by the end of our second year, we're going to have a profit of 800 US dollars. We will undergo some expenses during the making of our app, which include the branding of the t-shirts, pens, notebooks, and wristbands, which will accumulate to a total of 282.32 US dollars. If you include the field research, which was done on uh, an, an amount of 250 US dollars, the total expenses will accumulate to 532.32 US dollars. Um, we'll get our income from the ads which will be displayed in the app, the user registration, the commissions from the services provided in the app, and grants from family members, well wishers, and friends. Um, on the ads, some of the ads that will be involved in the app include the rich media ads, the banner ads, native ads, interstitial ads, video ads, and the reward video ads, yes. Um, the total amount accumulated by the ads will be 95.6 US dollars. In the user registration, we plan to register 900 users by the end of our first year, and each user will be registered at a fee of $1 each. This means that by the end of our first year, we'll have earned 900 US dollars. If we combine the amount that we can get from the ads and the user registration, it will accumulate to 995.6 US dollars. This means that we'll earn a profit of 463.28 US dollars by the end of the year, which has been accumulated from uh, the subtraction of the income minus the expenses. Uh, the same calculation has been done for the second and the third year, and by the end of our third year, we'll have earned a profit of 3,563.28 US dollars. This shows how M Electricity is marketable, and the profit that will be earned through the app will be used to better the technological part of the app.